Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie and I am doing a slight mix Manny challenge today. Um, this is a new one called Slate of Mind. It's like a blue. It says a crayon so it's like a solid. And let's take this off. I've already prepped, prepped my nails. Why, I don't know why I didn't see that. Um, this is alcohol prep pad is very important to clean your nail beds off. Um, if you don't want to use alcohol prep pad, um, I highly suggest using Dawn dish soap. Dish soap. This is ethanol. Um, it's extremely drying to the skin and nails, so I throw those away. And here is Slate of Mind. Very blue-gray, kind of. I'm just in the mood for this one. And then I am going to, because I was going to do this, a few videos ago and I disappointed a couple people. They were so excited for Shangri-La over another one. So I will do one accent now, at least one accent now with Shangri-La. I also wanted to um, let you know there was some um, subscribers asking about Orly Bonder and I tried it out. Um, just like I've tried the Color Street as a nail base, the nail strengthener as a nail base. I've tried these as nail bases. Um, and I've tried nothing as a nail base. This, it seems like maybe is more for if somebody has oily nail beds. Maybe it helps the polish stay on easier. I really am not sure. But in my personal opinion having nothing under my color street nail polish works the best um, my last mani I had the Hawaiian uh, mani I didn't have a single chip I didn't have anything peeling um, and my nails are fine after but with Orly and color street nail strengthener I have had chipping underneath like it it lifted even with the early bonder and I don't have oily nail beds so I just wanted to put that out there um just I have better lighting in here than I did in the living room where I was doing my nails I see a little like a hang nail right there anyway so I just wanted to wow to let any of you know but that is my own personal experience um, it it does feel like the Orly Bonder with the Orly Bonder it, it does stick nicer but I don't like the fact that you can't pick it back up if it's not positioned just right which you can't do that if you use the nail strengthener or any of these other two if you like using those if you put those on a while like an hour before um then you can kind of pick it back up and and adjust it so that's all i had to say about that so i don't have anything on my nails no base coat of any sort i do this and also i just have to show you i found a caddy with rainbows on it how cute is it on both sides so I had to get it you know Dollar Tree it's only a dollar or wait dollar 25 I guess I forget and I have these out because I'm always forgetting to put nail strips on those Ugh, all the time so let's get started um, I am an independent stylist with Color Street so just to let you know these are a one-time use only or color color street guarantees them to be a one-time use only so if you know you save them like i do 
disclaimer, there's no guarantee that they're gonna work, but if you do seal them up, um, just know that if they, they're dried out at all, that that's on you, not Color Street. So really I wanted to show the anchor method. I know that I usually do it. Some people anchor it, oops, anchor it this way. And I like to anchor it this way and kind of, you can kind of bend this a little and it, to me, it kind of goes on the nail better. And my bad, I forgot to put on my little cheater glasses. Sorry, I apologize for that. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna get it. See, with nothing, it's gonna come off now, that's fine. With nothing on your nail bed, you can put it down and pick it back up. Not so much with Orly Bonder. If you've watched past videos, you can see that on there. Oh my, oh. That is so pretty. It's just a given that I will say that often in my videos. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, because it's true. It's true. So I like to use two nails with, for one strip. If you don't, that's, that's totally okay too if your nails are extra long. Mine don't usually get that far. So, anchor method, you can do it this way or you can do it without the anchor on the second half of it. My reasoning for using the anchor method is because uh, I don't wanna ruin the other end also. I, I tend to get it all scrunched up if I don't use the anchor method and I don't want to do that because I don't like wasting that so this is you know I thought maybe this was going to be similar to deep diving when I saw it in the package oh, I meant to get a deep diving up here and I don't have one close by to compare but totally not they are totally not even the same Okay, so I've changed which ones I've been using for which nails, and now I, I can't remember. So this one I started using for my ring finger, or maybe it's this one. Because you can stretch these a little, the glitters are more forgiving in that way but I have found that these late lately these sets I have been able to stretch them a bit on these um, solids see if I didn't have this on the anchor method I would have totally ruined that side of it see how that side kind of went so you could just do this and put it on but this is anchor method video oh so I will go ahead and continue so it has a tiny fold in it and you know if you do mess it up that's not a problem there's plenty more strips to choose from to correct it So I can see stretch that just a little um, and then a lot of people I have seen and talked to seen comments they use different um, top coats you don't have to use a top coat um, if I do a if I were to be doing double strips on here I definitely wouldn't need a top coat but um, a lot of times I will, oh, I forgot to get this off. I will, um, put clear as day on. I've got 
a lot of clear as day and this I am loving this color oh my Ooh. you guys it's so pretty so pretty I know there I go again I can't help it just color street it's the nail polish is just amazing to me just amazing Anyway, when you put this on the anchor method, you want to make sure if you forget, like you're like, oh, oh shoot, I wanted to do the anchor method. Make sure you get the shiny side and not the back as a flat color white because otherwise you're not going to be able to get it off of that back side and you're going to have a lot of frustration. It'll be all stuck and, and you won't be able to... Um, if you very gently you can take it back off now some people will slightly stretch these out before they apply them I have tried that more times than not I rip it <laughs> I don't know if it's just like I got this urge to tear it when I'm trying to stretch it I don't know I just can't I just don't know how to be gentle apparently with that so I prefer to stretch it while I'm applying it on my nail. And I do like, certain, some nails I'll use the orange stick to take off the extra, especially my thumbs, because you want to do your thumbs last. Oh, goodness. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. It's so pretty. I couldn't control myself. I just couldn't. Oh man, I'm gonna have to stock up on this. And there's these little tiny tags are not worth scraping around your nail to get them off. So I'm gonna cut it off a little. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's like every color I put on, I'm just in awe over. Is anyone else like that? Oh. My goodness. Just beautiful. Sometimes I just like to use the nail file to take the extra off. And if you do, you want to always just go downward like this. And you don't have to file it for very long. And you want to be gentle. You want to go at a 90 degree angle. And then it'll just pretty much come off like that. It seems like it does seal them to the nail better. And I used to use that method all the time. And then I started not liking my nail file. And then, so for quite some time, I couldn't find a nail file that I wanted because it's such a hard decision and they're not totally cheap and, and all that. So I... Um, finally got one but I've been doing this other method for a while like months that I now I forget about using the nail file to get the excess off I didn't stretch this quite enough there we go so you don't have to stretch it real hard I just think it's oh my gosh. okay I think it's I feel like it's easier on when it's on the nail to stretch it a little. And you can also use one of these or anything, any kind of rubbery pusher you have to make sure it's all down real good. can also use the other end of that to help take off the extra, but I don't always, I don't usually actually, because these, you know, say that you don't need any tools to um, apply them, and they do come with a nail file. The nail file and I've heard it works really good I just don't use it because I prefer the um, glass nail files 
so kind of curled there. You know, we're having a heat wave. I know a lot of people are. Um, this is not something normal here. It's not usual here in Washington, except, I mean, okay, normally it's not normal. <laughs> Last year we did have like 115 degree weather and a lot of people died um, because of it. I should have done that over more, but it's okay. Anyway, um, so we've got, we're having like 100 degree weather and these nail strips aren't even, we don't have like a heat pump with an AC and, and all that. We have fans, we have window air condition. Is that, um, but my, oh my gosh, but my nail strips are awesome. I did have the fan blowing on them while I was waiting to do this. But, I mean, they were in the package. You know, it's not like directly on them. You don't ever really want that. But because it's so hot, I'm just gonna stick these in here anyway since the fan's blowing and they're opened. Slate of mine, yes. Awesome, my goodness. So, if you're new here, welcome and thank you for watching. If you're still watching and you like what you see, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you're returning, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that so much. What am I doing? I forgot to take out my thumbs. Why didn't somebody say something? <laughs> just kidding. I'll take those just in case. So I have learned that I can wear the smaller thumb. I cannot wait to wear this on my toes though because it is so pretty. Well, here I go. I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. Here I go. Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> okay, so this I'm going to put on the ring finger. Oh. So pretty. It's a chunky glitter that I'm not a big fan of chunky glitter, but I can't wait to see what this looks like. Uh, Shangri-La. See? Oh yeah. Pretty sheer. It's going to look so pretty over that. Oh my gosh. It's so gorgeous. Now I see what all the hype is about. I've never had it or worn it and you see all that beautifulness. It's still different in person. Oh my, oh my. Okay. On the ring finger, oh. I hope that's the only finger I end up wanting to put it on because it's so pretty, but I love this color, this blue. Uh, come on now. Let me cooperate here. Okay. Almost. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, all that beauty. So if you ha doing chunky glitter, in case you've never worn it, you you if you have chunks sticking out or anything, you want to use a nail clipper or a, a nipper, one of these, to take off any chunky glitters. Whoops, no wonder it's not working. Because if you try to pull them off, you're gonna have chunks come out off the, around the edge of your nail. And probably, there, got that. <laughs> Oh man, this is, you guys, oh, look at that. It's perfect with just one nail. Oh my, oh my. Okay, I'll stop if I can. Huh. Uh. It's 
So my daughter, one of my daughters, the one that has six sons, she got one of those slat, splash pads oh, from Costco. And I didn't know where she had gotten it from. So she, they were sending me pictures and videos of the boys playing in it tonight. And I was like, I need one of those for my backyard for the next three, four days, because we're still having over 100 degree weather. Um, and she said she got it at Costco. I think she paid like 20 bucks, but it was on sale when she got it. Um, but still like 25 to $30. So I'm gonna go first thing in the morning to Costco to get one for me, for moi. Would you guys do something like that? Let me know in the comments. I mean, it's just too hot. I just, I can't, I can't. I mean, I don't even go outside with this weather. I, I don't handle the heat very well whatsoever. It's terrible. I might just leave these till it's cured the rest of the way. Oh man, look at that. Oh, so pretty. Okay. So those of you that wanted to see Shangri-La put on, there you have it. And I love it on this color. Woo, so pretty. Okay, let's get back to my thumbs. off okay so I was doing these sideways because oh what is that hang now because they were fitting better but now that I have been able to stretch these a little watch it not work now um I can just put them on this way and they're fine. I can't believe my thumbnails are still growing out. Famous last words, they're probably gonna break just because I'm talking about them. <laughs> Hope not, but you know. Oh my goodness, hangnail there too. Wow. I usually have all of that cleaned up <laughs> before I film. I guess I wasn't looking at it right. See, I don't know if they're making them sizes different or what, but these are just, the smaller nail is fitting better, the strip. So, yeah, no. oh, I keep getting that Shangri-La shine in my eye. Wow. Okay, there we go. Done. A little bit of cleanup to do, but that's it. What do you think? Let me know. It kind of isn't exactly the color on the video. It's actually like a... Um, a darker blue little bit darker but it's gorgeous all right and thank you for watching if you're still here i appreciate it and i'll see you next time ciao